Are you a fan of Alpha Phonics? Have you ever tried it? What are your thoughts? Let me know right now in the comments below. Now, admittedly, I wasn't a huge fan at first. However, the more I was using it and the more resources I found for free online that complemented, I became a huge fan because you guys, y'all know me. I like free. So I've gone ahead and added a lot of these free resources that I'm about to show you on my website under free homeschooling under that page. So I'm just going to show you real quick what all that is, what I'm using, all these things that I'm using that I think are super helpful and comp complimentary and complimentary to Alpha Phonics. So stick around. Okay, so obviously number one is Alpha Phonics. You need Alpha Phonics. So I have here, I printed this out and I have the link in my website. Um, I have kind of like an introduction from Don Potter here. So I've got tabs here, I've got the manual. So this has all the instructions for the lessons. Then we have the actual workbook, the actual lessons that are super helpful. And then back here I have the readers and you can print these like I said all these things you can print off my website These are the readers that go with Alpha Phonics and you will know which reader goes for which Lessons which uh, it's like a range of lessons and so and here in the back is that table of contents that tells me You know deck one cards one through 36 lessons one through 14 and first reader So I would be reading the first reader with my child when I'm in those uh, Lessons so everything is here. It's super helpful. There's even a practice chart where you can track your progress There's so many helpful forms so here I've printed the Bloomfield Alpha Phonics cards. These are um, decks. So there's uh, several different decks and they kind of just relate to the lessons. For example, lessons one through 14 would be cards one through 36 and the first reader. And so you have them numbered so you can easily put them. And so these are great for review uh, before you start your new Alpha Phonics lesson. Maybe you want to kind of go through some of these uh, reviews if I see that a child has uh, difficulty with a certain blend or a sound like ch and ch, Then we'll definitely go through it first before we do the lesson now I really like what I've been reading that especially to avoid having kids confused with letters like the B and the, the D is to just teach them cursive first because cursive B and D is very different than D and B Printing so it will help alleviate some of that confusion and I've just seen a lot of arguments for teaching cursive first If you can write in cursive you will learn how to print neatly after that Whereas it might not be the case the other way around so here I have Don Potter's alphabet writing and identification Fluency materials and again you can find this all online and I really like that and so you can tap the alphabet here and then tap the cursive alphabet as well. If you do want to learn, you know, manuscript letters, it has here detailed instructions for teaching manuscript. I'm kind of doing both, um, kind of playing around with it. Then here we have a cursive sequence and it tells you like lesson one, which strokes you're doing, what to write. Like here you would write A and then two A's connected and then four A's connected. So this has been very helpful. I'm just doing this with my kids and then I also like this shortcut to cursive if you have somebody a little bit older uh, but you would want to firm them up on cursive, make sure they're doing it right. Then it has like very uh, quick, easy lessons telling you exactly what letters to write to help them write. And then of course we have, you know, the how to write the cursive letters i like that it has the little numbers telling you how to write the letters so that's very helpful I, I printed a copy of this and put it in each of my kids binders so i like that it's got the fundamentals to cursive handwriting and again these are from the don potter website and i also put the link in my i'm trying to teach my younger younger children cursive first um, but I didn't always do that. My older ones did printing first, then cursive. So I'm kind of in the middle of all that, but I have a cursive notebook and a printing notebook. I've also printed these from the measuredmom.com. They were free and I laminated them and they're nice and big. I give this to my preschooler and even my uh, toddler. They love to do this and they can erase it 
I just printed them, laminated them, and give them a dry erase marker and so they can practice printing their letters. It's nice and big. It's on this um, clip here. So Another thing that I like from the Dawn Potter website is these Alpha Phonics cursive phonogram cards. And I've also printed them and laminated them and put them on this ring here. And so they can practice writing their cursive letters again just with the dry erase marker and this one doesn't tell you like the order of the strokes to do it so i kind of just did it myself i tried the best that i could to just kind of make a little make little arrows and where i could and like the red dot is where you start and the blue is you know secondary so these are all my favorite alpha phonics resources the book the readers that are all in this notebook um these cursive phonogram these cursive phonogram cards that i have laminated and the deck cards that i just i didn't like it was too much to laminate so i didn't they're not writing on this so just printing it and cutting it out seems to be fine those are my favorite phonics resources in addition to that i've created this printing book with just you know where they can practice printing and my cursive notebook with more Don Potter resources and got more guidance to teaching how to write cursive letters with a shortcut to cursive plan that tells you exactly what letter to teach that day and the stroke, super easy. And then like I said, I also like just for fun printing this for my kids, the uh, measured mom, the measured mom.com. Okay, so those are all my favorite alpha phonics resources with a couple other things thrown in the mix that i feel like complement it really well and again check out my website under free homeschooling and you can find many of these resources and even more than this so check it out if you like free give this video a thumbs up and i will do more videos like this let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried alpha phonics what did you think of it let me know and yeah thanks so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye